Eyewitness News begins with breaking news. We're basically in high spirits. You know, we're not, we're trying not to think the worst. Trying not to think the worst and maybe just maybe a sliver of hope tonight. Breaking right now at five with the Coast Guard releasing new information about what they found and what they're telling those terrified and exhausted families about the capsized vessel and it's missing 12 men. Good evening everyone and thanks for watching. I'm Katie Moore and I'm Karen Swenson. Any hope is so needed right now. We need to get right to Danny Monteverdi. Yeah. Danny's joining us live from Fort, P Fort Fushon tonight. Danny. Uh, Katie, late this afternoon, the Coast Guard sends word that they say there is some sign that there are, might still be people on that capsized lift boat. That comes after guardsmen were able to get near it today. Now, Marion Kyler, who's the fiance of Chaz Morales, he's the man whose family we met last night at five and six, says that the last few days have been agonizing, to say the least. But she says tonight they're holding out hope that there might be some good news sometime soon. The fire station in Port Fouchon is where Marion Kyler and family of 11 other missing crew members are waiting for news, any news from the Gulf. Kyler's fiance, Chaz Morales, was on the lift boat when it left port on Tuesday afternoon. It capsized shortly after in a storm. This one squall that came through, I think the Coast Guard said it went from 10 to 20 knots to 50 to 80 knots in a matter of a minute. By Thursday, two agonizing days later, Kyler says divers were able to get to the boat. These images show guardsmen trying to make contact with anyone who might still be inside. But it won't be a quick search to find the dozen crew members if they're in there. Once they get in, it would take um, four days to sweep the area um, because there, there are so many rooms to go through. I mean, hopefully they're all in one room. You know, and they could just rescue them all in one day. But I mean, we're, we're looking at four days. Morales wasn't actually supposed to be on the boat. He took an extra shift to make extra money for his children. Kyler says she spoke to Morales as the shift left port, a point of no return for him to get off. She wishes he hadn't gone. I am angry that that boat went out and I asked who gave the order. And of course, silence. I told him, you know, you shouldn't be going out. And he knew they shouldn't have been going out, but he had no choice. Now back here in Port Fouchon, Kyler says anytime she hears a helicopter fly by, she gets a little excited for any glimmer of hope. There was actually a Coast Guard helicopter that flew overhead very low as we spoke to her this afternoon. Uh, she showed me her arm. She literally had goosebumps, hoping there might be some news, any piece of news. But right now the wait continues here tonight. Reporting live in Port Fouchon, Danny Monteverdi, Eyewitness News.